2.3 emails so this application is a little bit unusual it's supported by not only one application layer protocol but multiple ones and we'll talk about it more email application it's got three major components first is the user agent uh, this is the software running on the machine closer to the users and mail servers are the software running on more resourceful machines farther away from the users and among these mail servers it runs this protocol SMTP the simple mail transfer protocol uh, these we'll also talk a bit more about let's start from the user agent they're essentially the email readers they allow us to write email, edit email, read emails. Outlook from Microsoft is one uh, mail reader that's very well known. Thunderbird, uh, I don't know if you know about this one. This is from Mozilla. So the company that produces also Firefox, the very well known web browser. iPhone comes with a built-in mail reader. Uh, Google is also trying to push for a Gmail mail reader. So there are so many of these uh, email readers these days. Now, keep in mind though, the actual emails are all stored on the servers, not on the user agent these days. All right. Now the mail servers. Uh, it's got these three major components. The mailbox, which contains all the incoming messages per user. So these are the yellow boxes. When emails come in, they will be sorted out and then put into the uh, email boxes depending on who the receivers are. Second component, the message queue. Uh, those are the green queue over here. So messages that are going out will all be stored here temporarily and waiting for uh, the receiving mail server to open up and then accepting the emails. So SMTP protocol there is to allow the sending server and the receiving server to communicate. Now here in particular the sending server there is called the client of the SMTP protocol and the receiving server is on the other hand the server of the SMTP protocol. So you see a little bit here the SMTP protocol is to provide mail receiving service in a, uh, in a sense. So client here requesting service, server here uh, allowing emails to come in. If you think about it more, uh, it's got two levels of communications in the email application. So this is one between the end users and the local mail server. Okay, fetching email or pushing email out. But there's another level which is among the mail servers. All right, so sending mail server is the client of the higher level communication. Receiving mail server is the server of the higher level communication. Then the SMTP protocol. So this is the actual application layer protocol defined to support communication in emails. So let's see, what are the underlying protocols and what is the communication model and what are the messages defined? TCP you see here. Therefore, uh, SMTP is to support reliable uh, email receiving service. It runs on port 25 and the transfer is direct between the sending and the receiving server. The exchange, very simplistic, three phases, handshaking, and then actual transferring of the emails and then closing. Opening, closing, the actual transferring of the emails in between. The messages are also simplistic. They are just comments coming from the sending server, responses coming from the receiving servers. So comments in ASCII code, just like HTTP, just like FTP, responses, status words, status phrases, status code, just like HTTP and FTP. They all run in the ASCII code. Now put all three major components together and let me illustrate with the concrete scenario. Alice here is sending an email to Bob over there. All right, so 
Else we need to start the user agent first to compose an email. So in the email, it will need to specify the receiver. And then the user agent will send the email to the message queue okay, in the local mail server. So that is step two, emails going to the message queue. And then the client side of the SMTP, which is here, this guy is the one sending. And this Bob's mail server will be the one receiving. So this is the client of SMTP. This is the server of the SMTP. So client side of SMTP will open up a TC connection. Once the server is allowing the connection, then the client can begin sending Alice's email. So that email will travel and the server here of Bob's will, will, ch uh, will check whether the receiver is Bob and therefore putting the email into Bob's mailbox. Right, so email goes to Bob's mailbox. Lastly, when Bob now joins the internet, invoke his user agent, then the agent already pre-configured to connect to the incoming mail server will then fetch the mail messages and that's when Bob gets to read the email.